Hey Jim Jim fam, welcome back to the channel. My 2022 goal is to go from a low 20s hand cap to a sub 20s hand cap. I'm really excited for you all to go on this journey with me as I share things that worked and didn't work. And as part of my progress, I'll be playing all the municipal courses here in Chicago, starting with Columbus Park Golf Course on the west side. Before we start the round, let me share a little bit about the history of the municipal courses here. It all started in 1836 when early leaders of future Chicago foresaw the importance of saving lakefront property as open space. They labeled an area of the lakefront with an inscription, Public Ground, a common to remain forever open, clear, and free of any building or other obstruction whatsoever. This inscription established a legal precedent for lakefront protection and marked the beginnings of what later became known as Grand Park, aka where Lollapalooza is held every single year. And then in 1850s, park movement emerged in Chicago when visionary citizens began to rally for the creation of the nation's first comprehensive park and boulevard system. A physician led a successful protest to set aside a 60-acre section of public cemetery as parkland, marking the beginnings of Lincoln Park. This inspired citizens to press for state legislation that established three more independent parks. Their overall goal was to create a unified ribbon of green that would encircle Chicago. By 1934, 22 independent park districts were created, but were doing terrible due to the Great Depression. To reduce duplication of services, a streamline operations, and to gain access to funding through FDR's New Deal, voters approved the Park Consolidation Act of 1934, which established the Chicago Park District. And with CPT in place, golf facilities were added over time, and as of 2022, there are these eight facilities across Chicago that I plan to play and learn about, so please subscribe and join this journey. Diversity is a dedicated driving range, and Douglas Park has a free three-course learning setup that anybody can access to learn the game. As you can see from the map, it is spread out from the north, west, and south side to really increase access to the game and grow the game. The rates range anywhere from $20 to $35. And if you're looking for an additional discount, you can purchase the Player Advantage card for $25. It discounts each round by 5 bucks. And now to the golf, with my tee shot slicing to the right about 20 yards off from the fairway. Beautiful day out, it's a little bit chilly, 43, 43 degrees here in Chicago around 8 a.m. A little bit of frost, ground's a little bit wet, but you know, just excited for the golf season to start. We are at Columbus Park here in Chicago. It's a public muni course. It's nine holes, par 35. I think it's a 36 rating and a 106 slope. It's a good course to come and work on your game, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. It's been raining for the past two or three days. This is what the golf course looks like. Had to walk around here to get to the ball, which is right there. Columbus Park does not have a putting green, so I'll use that excuse for this three putt. The park is actually consisted of 140 acres in the Austin community. It's considered a masterpiece of architect Jen Jensen, and it's one of the few parks in the nation to be designated as a National Historic Landmark. In addition to the golf course, the park also has a field house, a nature area with a bicycle and jogging path, an outdoor swimming pool, a fishing lagoon, baseball fields, and outdoor basketball courts, and two athletic fields for baseball and soccer. 20 yards, pin high, right up the hole. Hit this one way past the hole and ended up having to two putt to get to a bogey. But that's one of the perks of these public courses because they're affordable nine holes to come and just work on your game. This drive was probably one of my favorite shots of the day exactly where I aimed and the, the distance that I'm expecting to hit. A little bit of fade on this shot. Looks like a neutral club path, but with an open club face. About 30 yards, I think. So I gotta make sure I pop it up and go over this bunker. Let's see what we can do. Sure. The putter and I are just not at one right now, resulting in this three putt. So I'll take a second to talk about the town of Austin, where Columbus Park is. In 1937, a person named Henry purchased prairie land in the region. And in 1857, a group of citizens formed the town of Cicero. 
So eight years later, this piece of land was bought by Henry W. Austin. Whoa, that was the first really nasty shot of the day. Now it's time to recover. But back to the town. Henry Austin, a businessman and a real estate speculator, developed the now namesake Austinville subdivision. This was the first good chip of the day. Got me really close to a nice little three footer no stress bogey, if that is a thing. Now we are number five, the only par five on the course here. And this was definitely my second favorite shot of the day. Conditions were not perfect after the rainy days. This thing got plugged, look at this. Oh my gosh. All right, well I'm gonna clean that. Oh, that sucks. It could have rolled like another couple yards right into that puddle. The flag is on the right edge of that tree. I'm trying to be smart and work on my course management. So I just took a hybrid out and laid it up. You gain or lose most of your strokes within 100 yards. And here, from about 56 yards, I just don't have my wedges dialed in. I go long and I have to chip back on and what was a potentially great hole and have a chance at a birdie now has turned into a three putt and a double bogey. It just means that I have to go work on my short game more and definitely work on my putting as well. Looking at the greenery and the blue skies, it's incredible to think that the city that Henry Austin bought is only 10 minutes west of downtown Chicago. So continue on our history lesson. By 1960, the Austin neighborhood was nearly exclusively white middle class. But after World War II, there's an increase in African Americans moving into the community. With this diversification came the Great Migration that resulted in race and integration related prejudices, economic decline, and safety concerns. Austin became the case of the white flight movement with a dramatic decrease in white residents, white owned businesses, and industrial jobs. By 1970, the community was 32% black, and a decade later, it was 73% black. This trend will continue for the rest of the 20th century with Austin becoming a stronghold for Chicago's African-American middle class. Notable residents include Wood Harris from Remember the Titans and The Wire, comedian Hannibal Burris, and Hugh Hefner. Back to golf for a quick second here, the number 8 hole is my favorite on this course. Hit a weird fade draw ball fly here, but just thought it was really cool to kind of hit through this window of trees over water. This is part of the best chip of my day, and a nice confident putt gets my only par of the morning. As I tee off on number 9 here, it just makes me think about how golf is such a great way to learn about different communities. I would have never discovered the Austin neighborhood and then did some research to learn about the community and the people here if they're not for looking for golf courses on the Chicago Public District website. So I encourage you all to discuss some local muni tracks and hopefully you learn something interesting about the community that you live in. Finishing off the round with a no stress bogey putt. Theme of the day. I'm also a glass half full person. So looking at my scorecard, I had four seven fairways, which is awesome. I also had these two three putts that I can easily fix. And hole number five, which is the blow up hole where I did not capitalize on, on the drive and the approach shot. So it gives me signs of real improvement this year and lower my handicap. I hope you like and subscribe so we can go on this golf journey together, especially at Muni courses in different communities. And as always, keep living in the moment.